Block the plank! Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today I got Chef Mike with me. Yeah. And I got Laurent with me as well. He's out there. Laurent's usually the cameraman, but he's going to be in action today with us. We just got dumped off at this deserted island, which is actually Gilligan's Island. Some of you guys might be familiar with that. So we're going to be surviving on this deserted island for the next 24 hours with no food and a little bit of water between the three of us. We brought a few essential items, like some dive gear so we can go spear fishing. We have no fishing gear. We have uh, a machete, we got a dive knife, and we have a lighter, and maybe a couple other little things. But uh, that's about it. We're gonna be hopefully eating tonight. There should be plenty of fish in the water. If not, I think low tide is even coming up, so we might be able to harvest something there. And the goal for this video is for all three of us, not just to survive, but to thrive on this deserted island. Let's get it. All right, what do you guys think? First plan, scope out the island. Definitely, yeah, definitely. So we're gonna, uh, yeah, scope out the island. I think find a little hidden, there is a little bit of wind today. So I think getting a little hidden area where we can get a fire going. We got lots of, lots of loose stuff to burn. Yeah. Lots of leaves. Yeah, for sure. Palm leaves. See where we can set up some shelter. Actually, let's just, that should be first thing. First. Let's just take a tour of the island. Well, the first thing we see here on Gilligan's Island, we got some structure here. We got some uh, remnants of some structure. Look at this. It's like a little home. The shelter shouldn't be too hard. There's no roof on it. So we got plenty, yeah, we got plenty of firewood kind of stuff. And look at this. This is my house right here. This is my <laughs> Look, the best view. Got a beautiful ocean front. All right, let's go take a look at some more stuff here. Oh, look at this. There's even like... Oh, careful, there's glass, a lot of glass. Got some roof structure. Oh, a lot of uh, plywood. Oh, yeah, you know what we could do something with that for sure. A lizard? You wanna eat a lizard? <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a pretty big one. A little curly tail. This side seems a lot more calm, yeah. less windy. Gilligan's Island was a famous old TV show. And uh, we're here, right in the, in the Bahamas. At the island. Oh, look at this. You got your own house here. Ah, the washroom. <laughs> so I asked Steph to drop me off at a deserted island so I can survive for 24 hours before we went back to California. And she said, Yeah, of course, I could drop you off. And then Mike and Laurent decided to join me as well. All right, so far, guys, we picked out our little shelter area. This is uh, our house right here. Welcome uh, to my crib and we're building a fire to the fireplace so that's pretty cool and uh there's definitely a ton of coconuts on these coconut trees so we should hopefully have some good water to drink uh, even though we did bring some filtered water uh, and i think our shelter is kind of like well we don't have anything up top and there is a possibility of rain later so we'll figure out what we're going to do with that we do have some hammocks that we brought and those are kind of like the essential things that we, we brought. 
and uh, now I think uh, we're gonna go try to catch some food get in the water maybe check out these uh, intertidal zones hopefully we can find some stuff there uh, let's go let's go take a look well this coconut husk all this dried out stuff should be great for fires so I'm just gonna start throwing it in our shelter how cool is this right here this is dried out seaweed this is seaweed that you see in there and they kind of just like look like this <laughs> anyways that wasn't a good description but uh, this might be good as a play or a little something we can just place food on there after we cook it anything like that um, hopefully the lens is not too foggy it's looking a little it's looking a little crummy and apologies if the audio is a little blown out there's a, a bit of wind and now we're foraging check this out we've got a little sea purslane if you guys remember the video we did on the beach and a local local guy tour guy here he was telling us about these plants sea purslane and quite edible tastes exactly like a sea asparagus mm. perfect this would be a great addition I mean my first time eating on this island we've got plenty of it here we haven't even gone in the water yet it's looking good we're gonna try to grab some coconuts this machete is super rusty so we'll try to sharpen it this rock is pretty smooth so that should work pretty well you don't want anything too rough Oh yeah, there we go. That'll do. Yeah, I'm hungry already, man. <laughs> I'm literally hungry already. We have a ton of these guys right here. These little periwinkles. And these would be a tasty snack. Yeah, let's gather them. Let's make a quick lunch, huh? Let's do it. Let's do that. Yeah, I'm down. I'll try to get the bigger ones. Let's make like a pot with uh with a coconut shell. Perfect. Because we don't have a pot. No, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. we'll have to use a, a, co a coconut. coconut shell. Put throw some salt water in there. Okay. I think we could get it boiling. Okay. Before the coconut burns. Okay. Yeah, if we get a fresh one. Yeah. Where's that fresh one? That's what I've been looking for. Okay. I think it was so down right here yet, somewhere. Exactly. Oh, right here. Yeah. Here it is. There is a coconut. Look at that. We got some lunch for Ryan. This should have some water in it. We're just making a pot. Yeah, that should be good. Let's see if I can crack it open with this machete. Nice. Nice. All right, all right. Laurent's putting in work on this coconut here. Yes. Should have some coconut water soon. And hopefully a pop. It's juicy. How's it look? Looks good. Oh yeah, that looks like White great. Great coconut water. Perfect. Go ahead, drink some. How's that? A warm, but good. A little warm, but good. First drink on the island. Oh, nice. That's good. Yeah, it is. It's not pretty. It's, it's not fermented or anything. It's not too old. It is perfect. Mike's gonna miss out on this coconut water. Get some more. Get some more. Ah. Woo! That's good. That feels good. All right, we're at. We're off to a perfect start right now. Yeah. That meat's gonna be delicious. Yeah. Let's take some of that meat out uh, right now, and then let's throw the periwinkles in there. We got the Throw some salt water there. in there. Yeah, exactly. And then just yeah. throw it on the fire. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna have some coconut meat. meat is great. Awesome. So we're gonna have some coconut meat. It's pretty young. Okay, let's get a sharper one. Like this guy right here. 
That's a good one. Okay. Little, little spoon rock. Oh yeah. Yeah, boys. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, right down, look at this. If we can clean all that out. That's great. I got these pump fronds. I'm going to make a plate. Right. Or a net or anything. I got a nice rhythm going here with the weave. Figured it out. I started off kind of sloppy, but now I have it figured out. A couple more loops and I am done with my plate. But uh, I mean, if you ask any survivalists, a plate is probably not on the list of priorities when it comes to survival. But if you ask any chef what's important besides the food, it would be absolutely 100% a plate. And a nice looking plate at that. Exactly. <laughs> you need a good looking plate. <laughs> so we got one here. Done. On to the next. So Laurent is on a dive right now. Hopefully he can get us some fish, but let's see how he's doing. I'm gonna do a quick check in these tide pools over here. See if I can find some more food. I'm hoping for a crab. That would be so good. That would be so good. The water here is so nice. You can literally walk this island, one side all the way to the other side, long ways, within maybe less than 10 minutes. Very small island. So there's not too much uh, going on here. But we got plenty of uh plenty of ocean plenty of rocks should be plenty of fish i'm excited i'm excited for what we're gonna eat for dinner there are some quality size sea snails over here these ones are more like a top shell much bigger should be a lot meatier we could take more of these but we have a lot so i'll leave that look for something else look for more variety what is that right there just found something big oh shit. Oh, big old sea snail. Big old freaking. Oh, this is good. This is going to be good. I'm keeping this for sure. <laughs> That's a good find right there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is the stuff right here. This is going to be tasty. There's a lot more of those big sea snails, but uh, like I said, we'll try to go for variety. So I'll leave those. I think just one big one is good enough. I'm thinking right here, it looks like a really good place for octopus. And if I find an octopus, I'm gonna lose my mind. Look at this place. This is paradise. 
Oh, I found a sea urchin that might be big enough to eat. I've been seeing a lot of sea urchin, but there are a lot of small ones. But check that one out. Ooh, very cool, very cool looking urchin. The sea urchin here are a lot different than the ones we have. There are a lot more variety here in the Bahamas. Some of them have really long spines and they're sharp and brittle. I got stabbed by one already. But this one looks pretty good. Short spines. They kind of, it's very similar size to the purple urchin that we have. So we'll check this guy out. We'll keep this. Well, I am hungry. Those periwinkles should be ready. So let's go eat those really quick. And uh, we'll get back out here. Well, I kind of went the whole rocky, rocky coastline. And uh, no octopus so far. Urchin, and I, got, I ended up getting two of these big, big top shell kind of snails. Okay, we just pulled out the periwinkles out of the fire. That coconut pot worked perfectly, and they should be all cooked. The water was boiling in there. I can smell them. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, My yeah. man. Yeah, that's the good stuff right here. You just take off the operculum, the little trap door, and we can just eat it. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice, buddy. They're actually really good. They're really good, huh? Yeah. It has a lot of flavor. They taste like little pieces of octopus, don't they? They do. That's what I think. They do. Yeah. The, actual, the, the texture. The texture is exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the little end. 100. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Drink the broth. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's crazy, man. Drinking the broth, eh? Yeah. Little fish. Oh, man. <laughs> tiny fish. Little strawberry grouper. Little tiny strawberry grouper. <laughs> What do we got? That was a lot of diving. You didn't see much out there? No, I mean, there was. Yeah. I just was getting too tired at the end. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you were out there for a while. Let me see that. <laughs> little guy. But, hey, that's something. So we'll have a little lunch. Yeah. yeah, we got a little lunch. Well, I'm thinking, yeah, we can try getting in the water. Or we could try getting some more coconuts. Or we can gather, can, gather more firewood. I can put the wood together. All I right. think what maybe we should do, yeah, is search for more, uh, more of these guys because they're. Meaty. I could get, I could get those easy. Okay, so maybe let's let's try one. Let's try a couple out. Yeah, we'll cook them if they're delicious. Then let's get some more of these, some coconut um, meat, mm -hmm. and then we'll try and just create a little bit of a dish with this and the coconut meat. Okay. All right, you want to cook that little one? Yeah, let's do it. So what I think I'm gonna do is cook the fish on a rock. I'm gonna find like a nice flat rock and then build a little... Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, get it nice and hot. Yeah. So yeah, that sounds good. I actually found some nice ones over there, I think. Yeah, I saw you were picking some up. Yeah. This might be okay. That'll work for that little yeah, fish. That will. I saw a couple of groupers. Yeah? Right. Bigger ones? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, one was decent, but it was kind of hiding. Oh. Um, yeah. I was a little too selective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is survival. You could have just shot any of them. Yeah. <laughs> we really got lucky with that chimney. I had no idea what it was going to look like out here. But uh, yeah, we got lucky. Really cool, really cool little deserted island. Okay, I'm going to go back into the intertidal zone before the tide comes up. Because uh, Laurent was on unsuccessful in the uh in the dive which is surprising because he's really good ocean's starting to look a little bit more rough yeah, i see some little crabs in this hole might be able to sneak up on them from back here there's one right there got one nope what the <laughs> thought I had a crab. Oh, I see a big crab. See a bigger crab over here. Big red one. 
I just saw his legs. I see the legs right there. Oh no, that's not the legs. I'm under this rock. Let's see if we can poke him out or something. Dang, there's a nice short crab living in here, but I can't get him to come out. All I saw were his long legs. These right here are definitely like the easiest sources of protein. Look at that. I'm gonna grab a couple more of these. There's a little fish in there. A little too small to eat. <laughs> let's try a couple of these right off the bat. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, they're just boiling, huh? Yeah. Nice. Like it's, and, and they're not overcooked, like they just started boiling. Sweet. Yeah, bro. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, buddy. That's all meat right there. That is all meat. It's not going to be as thin as your uh, sashimi as you want it there because of your knife situation. <laughs> but it's going to be delicious. It's going to be delicious either way. We'll just scrape the slime off of the foot. Feels like abalone. Let me try this top piece because I think this is going to be the best part. Oh yeah, that's meaty. Nice. You guys got to try that. I can't wait. Eat it all? Yeah, yeah, you can pretty much eat it all. Mm. Mm. Nice. <laughs> If you cook it right, that would be like abalone. It's meaty. It's it so tight. meaty. The only thing would be, imagine if there was some citrus, some lime, or some lemon to finish off on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we, got, we have some of that uh, sea purslane that we can put. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. And, um, but this is nice. Yeah. Good work, man. Heck yeah. Good job. Good work, bro. Nice find them. Good job, man. This is amazing. Mmm. This is good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Let's imagine we're on Gilligan's Island with absolutely nothing. <laughs> this is like a five star dinner. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. This is how you survive on mm -hmm. it. This is delicious. We're cooking in there. Yeah, that's exactly it. I want to get Good. This one's really in there. Yeah. Was the last one? Mm. It came out. Last one came out pretty easily. Yeah. Oh, hey! Yo! Whoa! 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 Oh! Yeah, just mm, this would cook a little softer. A little broth in there. Mm. Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's the one right there. That is it. That's the winner. Nice. Yeah, that back part is really tender. This part? Oh mm -hmm. yeah, nice. I'm gonna open up the sea urchin, right? Absolutely. Let's get try it out. Cam. Okay. Aristotle's lantern. That's cool, eh? Not too much in terms of meat, looks no, like. No, it doesn't look the best. Lots of eggs. No oh. uni. No uni in there. Alright. That's your turn, bro. Let's cut them up. That's, that's your, uh, yeah, your ahead, turn. Yeah, go ahead, cut them up. Ooh, it's juicy. Juicy. Mm. I'll try the skin too. Mmm. Yeah, that's nice. good. Nice. That that is really good meat. That is really. What's it called? Really Strawberry good. grouper. Oh, really? Yeah. Almost has a, almost has a texture of like crab. Going for the cheek. Mm. <laughs> 
don't think I can climb this tree. There's a lot of coconuts up there, so it's very motivating. <laughs> I'm just gonna see how far I can get. Yeah. Yeah. There's no way. Much more snails. No, bro. Yeah. Holy shit. Ha ha ha. Oh There's my. No way. If I go up there, I can't come Dude, back down. Dude, no, you'll get hurt, bro. I'm surprised you went up that far. I don't think you should do that. Throw rocks at it. This is the one right here. Oh! I ended up grabbing a little bit more of that, those, uh, those snails because uh, we don't have much else. And I'm trying to get a coconut down. We had one, but we used it for that and we're, as a we're pot. We're using quite a bit of energy as well. Yeah, we are. Coconuts. We are throwing rocks and missing 99% of the time. They're high. They're at least, they're, all of them are like 30 feet high. So there's nothing, nothing low. We scoped out the whole island. Every low tree has nothing on it. Yeah, I want a coconut because I'm really thirsty. And, uh, and we don't have that much water. So I'd rather drink a coconut than, than water. At least we got a nice bonfire. That's it. And uh, we haven't had any rain, so that's good. Hopefully tonight there's no rain either. But and no we'll be good. And, and no bugs. That, right? Yeah, no. One of the main... Yeah, the, the main concern that if there's no wind, there's going to be a lot of bugs. But there's no bugs. We're going to hold off on the dive until tomorrow morning, I think. We're going to go dive tomorrow morning because the sun's setting already. Even though it looks super calm right now. I was thinking some, like a different technique than what I'm doing right now. Right. If we can find some fishing line tied on a rock and try to noose it. Right. And if we, we need like a long line, there's right. this really big rope, but uh, maybe we can, would, I don't know if we can. That's actually a really good idea, man. A different technique would be. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously what we're doing right now, just throwing rocks at I've, it, I've doesn't it really work that like well. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it. A I little, did it once in Hawaii, not but as tall as these, though, yeah, right? it wasn't as tall. Coconut shot him like a football. Set, pipe. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do this. Oh! Oh! Dude, that would have got it. That well, we couldn't get any of the coconuts down, but I found one. Looks a bit old, but let's open it up. There's definitely water in there. Mike's making a little sleeping area for us uh, there's one layer of sand under these and these are hammocks but we don't have any of the rope that goes around the tree and hooks onto the hammock so they're kind of useless as hammocks we're making it work it'll be a cozy uh sleeping situation tonight. yeah you know what there is room here yeah as long as you're warm enough we might have to get another fire going so we're gonna plate up our platter tomorrow when we we have all these ideas. We have some dishes that we want to create. So it's going to be a nice little spread of all of our experiences, you know, emotionally. And uh, our experiences here is just going to tell a story. And then to, to top it off, Chef Taku made this incredible, beautiful plate, which is amazing. I'm so stoked. And then over here, we have some little things where we can kind of add bring some contrast, bring some character, or we can plate, you know, a salad and, uh, you know, little pieces of the, of the snail, mm -hmm. whatever, it'll be cool. And then I'll, I think a little salad in there, pop some green. This is gonna be right. I'm stoked. It's gonna be cool. I'm so stoked. Grilled fish on there. Check out, check out what I made over here. For the night, this is my torch, coconut torch. I wanna walk around. This is a tiny island, but who knows? There might be some kind of like crabs that come out at night. Coconut crab? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. You never know. So we'll just, uh, I'm gonna just roam around around midnight and see if I can spot anything. I've always wanted to do an island survival. So this is pretty fun. 
even though it was going really well in the beginning and uh, now I'm gonna be honest a little bit struggling a little bit hungry um, the snails aren't really filling us fully um, I have this I mean the coconut situation is frustrating but the one I showed you earlier I just threw it in the fire to burn off the, the exterior so it's just easy to peel off and uh, I can just get to the meat without too much struggle, hopefully. Yeah, bro. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, no. What's that? All my juice. Uh, oh, it all it came out? It cracked and all my juice came out. No. But there's a lot of meat in there. Dang. Look at all the meat. Oh, nice. Co coconut. This is so thick. This is the thickest coconut meat I've ever seen. It's a little old, <coughs> but let's give it a try. Tastes good. Does it? Yeah, tastes really good. Like, not like the earlier one, as tender, but uh, the flavor is really good. Oh, nice. Oh, Tastes good, huh? Is it good? Yeah. 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 Oh, God. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's good, right? <laughs> I like it because it's old because it's like it's sweeter, right? It is. And it's it's a really good texture. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's delicious. Great job, brother. Yeah. Thank you. You have been crushing it. Yeah. Alive because of you. <laughs> <laughs> We're surviving because of you. <laughs> Alright, Lauren's gonna cook the two right. kill the snails. We got two of them right here. Nice, go ahead. Yeah, throw it on the fire and be ready soon we have one more left of the snails and that one I think we're gonna save it for the morning eat a little bit dive in the water go get some fish that's the plan but tonight our main dinner is this coconut and I'm telling you it is actually so so good the meat on this all the juice fell out but the meat is cold of this coconut is so thick and so satisfying. It's like crunching on an apple, but meatier, and you can kind of taste that oily con oil content that's in these the coconut. So it's really nice. And warmed up like this is actually really good too. We got some sea snails right here, which are really delicious. We've been already munching on a bunch of them, but. Munching on a bunch. <laughs> Love it. Another one too. Yeah. I got a torch. Gonna go look for some crabs <laughs> or something. Maybe in the inner title there might be something. Oh no, my torch is burning down. <laughs> okay, I'm taking a little night lap around the island. Got a spider, pretty big one. I don't know what kind it is. Hopefully he's harmless. There's a sandal, gotta be good. The other guys are barefoot, so I'm gonna give one of them a sandal. One of you guys want a sandal? Might be, might be useful. You don't have to step on hot coals anymore. Check out this guy, big old hermit crab. That's a big one. Another big hermit crab. Are there any meat in these guys? I mean, their claws look kind of big. You're looking a little tempting, buddy. Look at his claw. Look at that claw. Oh, that's an edible claw, buddy. Oh, he's coming out. Oh my God, he's on the move. He's running. What if there were coconut crabs here? Wouldn't that be crazy? Should we eat these, dude? They're so big. There's a ton of lightning going off in the distance and it's been going off for the past hour almost and we've been wondering if it's going to come over here and if we're going to have a thunderstorm right over us. Hopefully not because we don't have a roof. Wouldn't be a good position. Because <laughs> um, yeah, we didn't take a time to make a roof or anything. 
so we'll see what happens guys but till then enjoy this time lapse of the thunderstorm We've been collecting a bunch of these old coconuts to keep our fire going throughout the night. We got a bunch of them out there, so we got enough. So this is our coconut pile right here. Whole wall is covered in coconuts, and they keep fire pretty well. So happy with it. Storm from the in right now, guys. I just gotta move my camera. All right. Time to pack up, get some shelter, and uh, I don't know, I think this is going to be a rough one, bro. Yeah. I think the storm's going to be pretty bad. Yeah. So, let's go get some shelter. I'm going to get the fire rolling. Hopefully it stays lit. Ooh, it's coming down. Oh, thunder. Thunder. It's so cold. Yeah. <laughs> we told you sleeping bag would have been a good idea. <laughs> All right, the storm is. It's hot. It's. Well, it's hot. <laughs> the storm is. <laughs> I mean, it's cold, but the storm is freaking strong. It's. Guns blazing. <laughs> freaking cold. <laughs> Everything just got soaked really quick. It should be okay still. If I throw the fire now, the Still got a nice fire going. Just in, just in time. I saved this fire. <laughs> well, I just collected a bunch more firewood or coconuts. It is 5.40 right now, so the sun should be coming up in about an hour or so. And uh, yeah, I think this storm might be past us. At least I'm hoping. I don't see any any clouds in the... Uh, I do see clouds, but not for a while. So I think we're pretty good. Oh, that was crazy. That storm rolled in and it was like freaking hurricane. I'm like properly starving right now. <laughs> so hungry. So we have one last snail left. And we're cooking it up right now. So we can have a little bit of bite to eat. And it's ready? Survived the night. Yeah, we did. Oh man, yeah. that was cold, huh? It was getting yeah. Wow, well, little windy. storm rolled in. Oh man, we're so lucky we have these old coconuts. I don't know what to do without without them. Yeah. Well, well, guys. Uh, throughout the night, I actually woke up. You know, woke up a few times just to feed the fire and stuff, and uh, it was pretty cold. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty cool, but around 2 or 3 a.m. Um, the fire was out and I decided to grab one of the rocks and that was near the fire and I just huddled up with that hot rock and that helped so much and I just went straight to sleep right after that and in that first storm, like around 4 a.m. rolled in and now we have this. Uh, it's super high wind, a lot of thunder and lightning you can't get in the water like this. It's a little too, uh, a little too dangerous. Current is ripping. I can't even see oh, that yeah. thing. Yeah. So we'll hopefully this passes, but this is coming hard. I think the rain is just starting right now. We have flares for when we, uh, when we, when we finish the challenge, and that's like our signal for staff to come pick us up again.
but she might not even be able to come pick us up in this weather. We'll see what happens, guys. It's been 20 hours. Yeah. Oh, they're probably cooking breakfast, some bacon, oh, yeah. Yeah. and the eggs. I'm sure there's some hash browns going on right hash now. Hash browns? <laughs> <laughs> Grab the flares! The rain is pretty light, so we're gonna go out on a little coconut mission, see if any coconuts fell off the trees in those high winds last night or early this morning. See if we can find one for breakfast. I'm starving. Don't worry, I got my umbrella. Ah, I found another one of these old ones, but still water in there. This is exactly the same as the last one that had that delicious coconut meat. So I'm taking this. I'm gonna do the same thing again. Just throw it in the fire to get it open. Uh, I'm gonna have to feed that fire. We're out of coconuts. And try to get more fire, more coconut, more old coconuts in there before the rain uh, soaks everything too badly. Fire going. Yeah. Yeah. Keep this fire going. It's not over till it's over. Is that my coconut? Yeah, it's Just gotta cool it off. There she is. There's our boat. Oh fuck. It's dead. <laughs> is it dead? What's that? I don't know. Is it supposed to be light? Hi Finn! Alright, we're safe! We're safe guys. Storm is still thick. Good thing we're there, they're here. I got my coconut though. Actually we're gonna have a little celebratory drink here. I think I should be able to poke through. Cheers guys. It was a fun one. Ooh! Nice hot coconut tea. Oh, that's delicious. That's actually really good. Yeah, it is good. And it's pretty hot. <laughs> it's pretty nice. That is so good. That was well worth it. Well, a lot of fun in the past 24 hours. Uh, we didn't get to do that big platter on my plate. Unfortunately, uh, the weather was not too cooperative today. But, uh, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. You can find both those guys on Instagram. Chef Mike, he's got some spice. He's got a spice company. Uh, he's a really cool guy, a real, real amazing chef as well. So make sure to check him out. Uh, if you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Made it. We're back. Now it looks nice enough to jump into. Uh, Whoa! Wow! Wow! Oh, Kiss lips! Wow! Oh, Finny! Man. Are you okay, baby? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi! We made it! We made it! <laughs>